So, you'd like to reduce your impact on the planet. Or maybe you're more interested in lowering your heating bills or making your home more comfortable. There's just one small issue. You're not quite sure of where to start or what to do next. No problem. I'm Philip Drader, Home Energy Coach with Reap Green Solutions, and I can help. We work together with people in Waterloo Region to make sustainability the norm. This video is the start of an informal online course about how to make your home more energy efficient. Through a series of videos and blog posts, we're going to walk you through a number of options for what you can do with your home. Let's go over a typical home so you can be more familiar with the systems we'll be talking about. Your home is an interactive system of components, including the basic structure, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning equipment. Then there's the external environment to consider, and of course the people living in there. Each of these components influence the performance of the entire system. First, where is your energy going? Here we can see that over half of your energy is going toward keeping your house warm in the wintertime, about one-fifth of it is going toward hot water, and the rest is for your lights, appliances, and air conditioning. We'll talk about all of these, starting with the biggest user first. Space heating. If you're like most typical Canadians, you have a furnace or a boiler in your home, although in some areas, if you don't have access to natural gas, you'll have electric baseboards. If it has a metal pipe leading to the wall with a gap in it, then you have an older inefficient furnace and you'll want to put it on a list to replace. Here's where your furnace or boiler typically puts its energy. This can really vary depending on the age of the home, the quality of construction and what materials were used, and if any energy efficiency retrofits have been done before. Usually there will be high losses in the main walls, the windows, and due to air leakage. Basements can lose a lot of heat as well, especially if they aren't insulated. If your home was built before the 1950s and hasn't had an energy retrofit, you probably can do some amazing things with it, since that's around the time the builders started putting bad insulation into homes. Homes without insulation lose a lot of heat and have a cavity that can be easily filled. You'll only know where your heat is going, however, if you have a home energy assessment. Your next step, if you haven't done it already, is to get one of our certified energy advisors to come and test your house. The last component of energy use in a home is electricity. Lights, appliances, and air conditioning. Now while your space heating in hot water can be heated with natural gas, which is fairly inexpensive currently, this last category is always electricity, which is more expensive. Topics covered in future modules in our series will cover different components of your home, such as air sealing and attic work, main walls and windows, basement walls, furnaces and air conditioning, hot water and drain water heat recovery, heat recovery and energy recovery ventilators, lights and appliances, solar energy, habit changes, dealing with contractors, and arranging financing. By the end of the series, you'll be living in a more comfortable home and saving money on your utility bills. But most importantly, your home will contribute to slowing climate change. We want to help you make your home a part of the solution to the problem because 22% of greenhouse gas emissions in the Waterloo region are caused by our residences.